like, comment, and subscribe. Now, hit like, that notification bell. We're just kidding. We don't actually <laughs> think or do that. We are driving back from Kansas. We went to go see my family and hang out with them this weekend. video we went jet skiing uh we went to a lake in kansas called marion lake uh with just me and Callie, my mom and it was Callie's first time jet skiing and we actually had like a really good time it was like very good weather um it was so beautiful out yeah it was a great day so we got home from that and we were hanging out with my parents and i have to tell a funny story about my dad so um any of you guys who are in the rodeo world or familiar with rodeo you know that like in the last year or so they came out with the cowboy channel which shows all the pro rodeos and so i had just hooked my dad's tv up to where he could watch it from the app on his tv because he couldn't figure it out for he, days like and, even called curtis about it <laughs> he did and he was so happy got set up but we come downstairs and he has it playing on the tv and then he has his phone set up like beside him and i'm like wait is he watching two different rodeos and callie goes brian are you watching two rodeos at the same time it was the same rodeo <laughs> He just had it at like two different angles. It was like buffering too much on the TV, so he had it on his phone. And as he was like talking to us, he would like look at the TV and then he'd look over. It's <laughs> like, are you watching that on two different? It was so, it was so funny. sweet though. So Callie is like obsessed with cows, loves them, like watches videos about them, follows all these pages Dreams about, about them. them. You know, we everything. will have cows. Um, so I was like, hey, do you want to go out and see the cows? And my dad was like, well, when you go out there, they're going to run away. They're in the far back pasture. And so we're like, okay, well, we'll just go see if we can get them up. So we walk out there and the cows just like ran up to us. So you'll see in these videos, like. They came really close to us. Yeah, it was really weird. And my dad has had four uh, cows calve in the last, like just in the last few weeks. And so. We got to see the calves up close uh, when they came up and um, when we got done with that there was like there's this huge cornfield like right behind that pasture and I was like man I've never like I've been around cornfields my whole life but I've never like walked out there and like gotten a ear of corn or whatever so I was like hey let's go out there and we got some funny pictures of that that I'll probably put in here too. But well, we knew a cornfield could be so much fun. <laughs> we did have fun. We were out like there. little kids out there. <laughs> we were, and then it was like we were. Oh my gosh, it's like children of the corn, and it was funny. But we like picked some corn that like we thought was gonna be like really good, and we're like, oh my gosh, this is ripe. Like it's gonna be awesome. And so we bring it inside, and my mom was like you know that that's just like field corn right like that's what they're gonna use for like cattle feed like, Chris was like no I'm gonna try it <laughs> so without even like boiling the corn or anything like I just husk it wash it off and I take a bite and his mom was, was right yeah, yeah the story <laughs> yeah definitely right it was terrible so then <laughs> then why a good old fashioned corn mix up happens <laughs> Classic example. You know the typical corn mix up. <laughs> so I went to throw away the field corn, which I thought, like, I forgot where I set it down. Like, I just thought it was by the sink because I'd washed one. And so I just grab them, throw them away. And I walked back inside and I was like, wait, there's more corn, like, sitting on the dining room like, table. Didn't I throw those away? 
And then I was like, wait, mom, did you have like actual like corn for us to eat? And she was like, yeah, my friend brought him over out of her garden the other day. And I was like, well, I just threw him in the dumpster. So I accidentally <laughs> threw away the good corn and then had to throw away the bad corn also. And it was not good, but I mean, it is what it is. She can get more experience. corn. It was an experience, definitely. <laughs> so the next few clips, you'll see that. And then after that, we doctored some cattle. And we'll talk about that after we get in showing you these. So enjoy seeing some cows up close and personal and seeing my dad's pasture, beautiful sunset, the whole thing. Here it is. see some cows i know like if that if we didn't actually do that video callie would watch it and like actually love it so if you love cows hope you liked it too mm -hmm. uh so this next clip um this is from sunday the next day and every time i go home if we've had new calves my dad's like hey will you help me talk to the calves and it was like i've done it my whole life and it's always just kind of been like something i've kind of dreaded and now that like I like actually want cows later in life. Like once we get some land, I've been like more interested in it and like wanting to like pay attention and stuff. But this time it was like more special, I guess, because my grandpa was there with us. And so to start out this next clip, I'm gonna put a picture that my mom got and it's me, my dad and my grandpa. And we're doctoring this calf and it's just like a really cool picture and it's cool to have these like videos too because man i can't my grandpa's helped us a few times before but it's been a while and it was just really cool that it was just the three of us out there so uh for those of you who don't really understand what we're doing um in these videos uh for all you karens who are like oh my god you're hurting the calves we're not hurting the calves um we had one of them that was a bull calf and my dad's gonna keep it and because it's a boy a, a bull meaning it has balls uh because he's gonna keep it we have to castrate the bull and we do that because if we don't that bull will go on to breed his sisters or possibly his mom so you have to cut his balls off and when it comes to cows you can do it a couple ways. Um, some people just actually cut them off. Um, we band them. So you have like a little tool that pops a band open, you put their balls around it, and it just, their balls will fall off eventually. I was asleep during this time. So <laughs> she was. I'm glad she I didn't it. really experience this. <laughs> she but, didn't um, want to see her poor calves I being hurt. I don't have much to say. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> and so besides that, um, we had a couple heifer calves too, and we give them their vaccines and we ear tag them. So um, in the clips that you'll see coming up, that's what we're doing. And my mom was actually videoing these and got some pictures and it was just, I don't know, it was a really cool experience that my grandpa was there with us and we got the, we got the job done. It was really freaking hot that day. And in some of the last clips you see, I get shit on all over. It was terrible. But uh, for those of you who knew me when I lived in Kansas, I do still know how to tie a calf. I do still know how to do cowboy stuff. Even uh, though I haven't seen you I know. You have, she hasn't seen me rope. And that's like so crazy. That was like such a huge part of my life for so long that I just don't really do it anymore. So it was cool to go back and do this stuff. And I'm really glad that we got some clips, not only to share with you guys, but just for us in the future. Um, so that's what we're doing here. And enjoy.
No, so that was the last of the clips we had from the Kansas weekend. Um, I did, on Sunday, we played dominoes the whole day and hung out with my grandpa a lot. And I got a picture of that, but it wasn't very good. So I'm gonna ask my mom if she has some pictures, I might upload some pictures. You guys see what we did Sunday. Uh, but a lot of dominoes, a lot of dominoes. We played like a whole round through of dominoes of all the numbers. And when we were sitting here talking about like, okay, we're going to, we have to do something at the end. Like what we're going to talk about. Cal is like, we have to talk about how funny your grandpa is. He is so funny. Just naturally. <laughs> like anything he says is just like, you laugh about it. He's not even like trying to be no. funny. He's just, he's just so personality. funny. And um, he loves doing puzzles now and that's like his favorite thing and so uh, when we got back that week we went to Target and they had a bunch of, of puzzles for sale and so I we got him some puzzles and when I sent them to him he called me and he was like I'm so glad you sent me these because I've been doing this one puzzle that's got 20 different dog heads on it and I just can't figure it out. Didn't so. he have someone help him? He like called yeah. someone to help him? Yeah, <laughs> my mom and then uh, his best friend and uh, brother-in-law, Ronnie, he comes over and helps him. And so they, they do them together, but it's like his favorite. He loves doing those. Um, he hangs them up in his garage when he's finished with them. He does. He he uh, he puts like cardboard behind them and then he puts crafters glue down so and he builds little frames around them and he get, he's got them all hanging up. So he loves doing that. And I'm glad we got to send him some and got to spend time with him. Cause every time we go home to Kansas, I like to go spend time with him. Um, so it was good that we got to spend that whole Sunday together. And then other than that, uh, we drove home and we didn't bring Ollie with us on this trip. Just, he's so big <laughs> and it's like, he, and there's already two dogs at their house. Yeah. So. They have a little miniature Jack Russell. And like when we have brought Ollie up there, this dog is like three, four pounds. Ollie's like 80. This dog, he, Ollie is terrified of their miniature Jack Russell. She just like puts him in her, in his place. Her name's Gabby. She's my sister's dog. She's so cute and hilarious. But, um, so yeah, we left him home. Then when we got back, we were only gone two days, one night. And we were literally by Sunday, we were both like, Miss Ollie. I had my sister send me pictures the whole time of like what he was doing. <laughs> no, her sister Kira stayed here with him just to like watch him and hang out with him. And when we got back, we got to hang out with her for a while and that was fun. And so yeah, that was our weekend in Kansas. So hope you guys had uh, at least enjoyed getting a glimpse into my life in Kansas and the stuff that we did. And Man, we're gonna keep doing these. We love, we're actually enjoying doing these and editing them and stuff. This is the second one that we put out so far and we're gonna keep doing them. So if you guys like something in particular or don't like something, like tell us, but uh, not to sound cliche, but give us a like on here. <laughs> that would like make us feel good for like putting in this effort and uh, subscribe too if you want to, if you wanna see more of them, cause we're gonna keep doing them. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Have a great night. Bye.